Hey babes, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing fantastic. Okay, so in this bowl right here, including here and this and a few other other things, I have products that I feel like I've been neglecting over the past few months or even a year or whatever, you know. I have a series, okay, called Full Face of Makeup Using Neglected Products. And I think this is my third one or my fourth one. So basically the idea behind this is to like look through my makeup and see which makeup I have been neglecting, either intentionally or unintentionally have I been neglecting it because it's not really as good or it's so bad or have I just been neglecting it because I found other products that I really prefer over the actual products that I've been neglecting or have I been neglecting it because I just forgot about it okay so that's what we're gonna find out in today's video okay and if you're new to my channel if this is the first time seeing my face my name is SIK Mr. Pat J you can call me Esther you know all right and if you're yet to subscribe make sure you turn that subscribe button from red to gray okay and be sure to turn on the notification so that way you can be notified every single, every single time i upload a video okay all right so without further ado let's jump straight into this video i believe i've got a whole full face range of products that i feel like i've been neglecting okay actually i just realized majority of the products are high-end and only a little fraction is drugstore affordable products <laughs> That's interesting. Anyway, so the first products that I, had, I feel like I have been neglecting is this Too Faced Angover RX Primer. I actually bought this primer when I was in London recently and I bought it the day that I bought the Too Faced Bond This Way Foundation. And I've already done a foundation test on that foundation as well. And I actually tested this in that foundation test video too. Honestly, I still don't know how I feel about it. It smells good or whatever, like it includes coconut water and probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers and all that. You know, it smells good. It feels really nice. It feels like lotion. I just don't think it really works as good in terms of like making my makeup last longer or whatnot, you know, so. But it feels really nice on the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. And I really like the packaging, you know, it comes with a pump and all that. So as you guys can see, it's pure white. There's just something about it that's not really with me, you know? I don't know what that means. Well, there's just something about it. Or maybe it's the price, you know? But yeah. Have you guys tried this primer before? Let me know how you think, what you think about it. But it's not a bad primer. It's really nice. It feels really nice on the skin. And once you've rubbed it in, it gets a little bit tacky, which is really good, which kind of means like your foundation is ready to apply on top of it or your makeup or whatever. And it will really just stay on it, you know? But maybe it's the price that just kind of make me feel a little bit, you know? So next is brows. As you guys can see, you know, my brows is quite bare. And the products that I feel like I have been neglecting, I feel like I definitely have been neglecting, and this is intentionally. Whew! It's the Benefits Cabral Pomade. Honestly, don't know why people rave about this so much. I don't really like the formula. I just feel like it's a little bit too clumpy, you know? I mean, I really like the cuteness of it. I love the fact that it includes a, what is this? An angled brush, a tiny little angled brush, you know? I love that, you know? I prefer the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade, you know, over this. And by the way, this is in the shade five. I'm not actually using the spoolie that I came with. I'm just using a longer brush, you know? My, this is the Inglas 31T brush. Okay, that's actually, that's actually not bad. <laughs> What's going on? Let's make it look as natural as possible because some of you guys are coming for my brows and I don't want that anymore. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know where I got clumpy from. That's actually really good. What the heck? I think when I first got this, I was using the spoolie that it came with. So maybe that's the difference. Oh, yeah. The spoolie literally just, I think that might be it. Yeah, I think it might be this tiny spoolie here that's been doing me dirty. That's actually really good. It's actually lighter than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade. <gasps> So I guess I'm gonna go back to using this often. Oh my lord. Okay, so I'm gonna clean the clean my brows with a concealer that I've actually been neglecting. And it's a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And if you watch my first impression, by the way, I'm not neglecting this because of the recent drama with them, you know what I mean? Which, let's just not talk about it. You know, if you don't know, just search. I don't know. I don't know what to search, but let's just, let's not talk about it, okay? Okay, so yeah, the reason why I've been neglecting this is because of the fact that I, I'm not really a big fan of this concealer. If you watch my recent, um, my first impression video that, you know, where I tested this concealer as well, you will know that I didn't really like it as much. I found it really hard to work with. So I don't know why people have been hyping this up. I don't know. I actually bought two shades. I bought the shade Deep and the shade 10 Sand, which I believe Deep or Rich Sand. There's two other shades. Let's just, let's not talk about shade range. Let's just, because time is going, time is money, you know, and I can't be wasting my time on nah 
I can't. <laughs> okay, so while I'm here, I'm also gonna use it to set my eyelid as well in preparation for eyeshadow. Ah, uh, guys, no joke. I have been blending this for the past almost five minutes. So my eyelid is pretty set and it is pretty dry. <laughs> dry AF, okay. So we're gonna go into eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette that I feel like I've been neglecting, which intentionally actually it's the urban decay naked heat eyeshadow palette i actually did a first impression on this baby right here when it came out and i bought it at mecca maxima for 85 australian dollars i mainly bought it because i wanted to do a review on it and whatnot i like this eyeshadow palette you know i like the color combination i really really like it but i don't really i didn't really feel like it was worth it for the price for the cost for the money i don't know and i think like when i'm doing videos i don't really like to use too much of an expense of expensive stuff because not a lot of people have that you know so i don't really feel like it's worth it for the price but it's a really really good eyeshadow palette especially for the formula and the color combination but i feel like you can still find the colors in here in most affordable or drugstore eyeshadow palettes you know Okay, here we go. The eye is done. All right, so now we're on the face. We're to the face, on the face. My cut crease is looking good or whatever, if I had to say so myself. And someone did mention recently, by the way, yeah, I do put mascara on my lashes, because why not? Someone did mention recently that my cut crease look uneven. Baby girl, girl. That's because my ooded eyes are uneven, okay? This eye is more ooded than this is, okay? That's, don't worry, you get used to it, you know? <laughs> All right, so now we're on the face, we're to the face, which I'm really excited and nervous at the same time, but I think I'm mostly excited, so that's fine. Oh yeah, I'm really excited and nervous at the same time because of the concealer. <sighs> so the foundation I have been neglecting, I feel like I've been neglecting, is the Urban Decay Naked, Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Foundation. Oh my lord, why do I have to put long name on this, but I can't do it. <sighs> Anyway, yeah, so I actually did a foundation test on this one as well. And the day that I did the foundation test, I bought this. And um, this, this foundation oxidizes a lot. And the flashback, the flashback, oh, oh, <laughs> the flashback, oh Lord. And it has a little ball in it as well. So you gotta, so when you're shaking it, it makes it easier for the products to mix together, which is really cool as well. So I haven't been neglecting this because I don't like it. I've just been neglecting it because Honestly, guys, I have about 50 foundations and I do foundation test videos, you know, and I mostly film drugstore related videos, you know, so yeah. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay, why is that actually right now? What's going on? Is it a sponge? I think there's soap on here. Okay, that looks ashy. <gasps> Let's just keep going. Something's happening. Something. Why is why is that white it wasn't this white when i tested it what the heck why is that white what's happening <laughs> oh my lord it wasn't this white before it wasn't white at all what's going on hello 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 that okay something's what i sh i shook it i shaked it it what the heck do you see this what <laughs> What's happening? Let's just keep going. Cause I don't understand that. I don't understand what, what just happened to me. That that hasn't happened to me. This is it. Okay, so why was that now white on my face? Is it a sponge? Oh my lord. Is, is, is someone playing a prank on me? There's no one here. But I've been neglecting this too, by the way, because of the size. It's just too small. <laughs> I've, I've gotten too used to this one right here, the big one. Ah, okay. I literally, I don't know what's happening right now. Maybe it's the sponge. I think there must be soap there or something. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys. I literally do not know. Okay, you know what? We don't have time. We don't have time for this. Let's just, I'm just gonna set it. 
water powder because we don't have time this is under powder i'm just gonna use this nyx no filter same filter powder which i feel like i've been neglecting as well i do use it occasionally but i just i don't really reach for it it's really good in like making you know things even and i can't I, I can't actually i actually can't think guys because of how this foundation is just messing me up right now literally i'll talk about the next powder in a moment <laughs> Okay, the powders kind of make things a little bit better, but yeah, I like this powder, you know, it just kind of adds a little bit more oomph to the face, you know, it just, you know, it, it doesn't have a full, it doesn't have a, okay, I can't get, I literally still cannot get my thoughts because this foundation has just messed me up. I do not remember, oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay let's just move on from the foundation shall we because i don't know what just happened all right so now we're going to concealer which i'm really nervous about and the fact that that foundation just messed me up is just really like just i don't know anyway so i'm using the shade d and i'm just gonna apply this and i'm not gonna mix it because in that first impression video i actually mixed it and they actually say a little bit goes a long way with this concealer and you don't need to use too much which i do agree with but honestly i just don't like it and i'm just trying to finish it you know because i don't want to waste money i had to sacrifice a lot to buy it <laughs> so i don't want to waste my money so i'm just trying to finish it so i'm going to blend out the edge of this concealer first and just leave the one under my eye and i like to do that with all concealers you know blend the edge first i don't have a line of demarcation you know and someone messaged me recently about, you know, tips on concealer blending and foundation and whatnot. I would advise to just do this, blend the edges first and leave it. Leave the concealer to kind of get a little bit tacky. But with this one, I don't really feel like you need to wait for it to get tacky anyway. But if you're using really liquidy type of concealers, make sure you wait a little bit like a minute or so for it to get tacky and then go ahead and blend it out. So that way it can stay controlled and doesn't spread everywhere, you know? Okay, that's actually... That's actually blending really nicely. Is it because the foundation was crappy? It doesn't blend this good. Or maybe because I mix it with the shade Tan Sand. See, I don't know what to tell you guys about this video anymore. Like everything is just either working well or not working well. Everything that usually works well is not working well. Things that usually does not work well is not working well. First brow, now this. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to believe with myself anymore. <laughs> That's actually really nice. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh my Lord Jesus. I don't know what to tell you guys. I feel like a fraud now. Cause everything I said in the beginning about this concealer, it's just, okay. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. Let me try and use the shade Tan Sand and see if that was what was doing me dirty. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, so I don't know what to tell you guys anymore. I don't know what to say anymore. All right, so let's just contour. I'm looking really ashy, and it's mainly because of that foundation, and I'm really upset about it because I don't know what the heck happened. Anyway, so now contour. Um, we're, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. I actually haven't really been using this, the stick in general. I mean, recently I used the contour stick as a lip liner, which I generally do, you know, and also as a little bit of a crease color because it's actually really good as a lip product. But for my face, I haven't really been reaching for it. And that's because, like, you know, you need to choose the products that you use it with. That's what I've noticed anyway. It is a really nice you know match stick don't get me wrong but i noticed that oh what's in my eye i noticed that when i'm using it with a really um what is a matte foundation it just the concealer itself is just really like i don't know too it's a little bit dry when you're applying it but it's a really really good formula it's just i need to choose the foundations i use it with that's what i've noticed i noticed that no one has really talked about it before you know but i just kind of thought to mention that and i think i mentioned it in when i first tried it i, I mentioned that i didn't really i don't know I wasn't really vibing with it. All right, so now I need to set under my eye and whatnot. And I have been neglecting this powder, which is what I used to set the lid earlier. And I didn't mention that, you know, but I've been using it to set the lid lately. But I've just been neglecting it when it comes to using this set my under eye. And this is a NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. This is um, the main ingredient in this product is silica. And it just feels really, really, it's, 
too fine, you know, and the flashback is real. I just don't like the way the texture is. So I've just been neglecting it for the face, but I just kind of keep it in my collection for, you know, for the lid. <laughs> Ashy town. <coughs> oh no. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a regular powder. This is the uh, Auburn Gotcha Covered Mineral Powder Foundation. I also included this in the first impression. I really like this powder, guys, and I've mainly just been neglecting it because I have other powder, you know, because I have other powders, you know, but I really, really like it, and I like the fact that the inside is a cushion. It's all messy or whatever, but the inside is a cushion. It's all cute whatever. So I'm just gonna use this. This is in the shade. Does it have a shade? It ain't got no shade. Oh, in the shade Coco. Oh, oh, heck no. It says it expires May this year. <sighs> Who does that? I only just got this last year. It was sent to me actually. No way. Okay, I guess I should focus on using it more now just in case, you know? <laughs> So this is the, uh, the Fenty Beauty Match Stick Highlighter in the shade Cinnamon. <sighs> I'm not really a big fan of this. But it's really good for those everyday no makeup makeup look. But then my thing is, I feel like it's too expensive to just buy for that everyday no makeup makeup look. Kind of has that powdery finish to it, you know what I mean? All this Match Stick tri Trio have a powdery finish to it, which is really good, you know? But I just... I don't know it's it's not bad it's not great either in my opinion in my humble opinion i'm sorry you know because i notice people get hate for not liking fenty products but come on <laughs> i am so proud that we have a melanin system looking out for us but i'm also gonna give you guys my honest opinion you know so yeah okay so here we go um this is what we're looking like i'm still looking a little bit ashy and actually when i look at myself in the mirror i don't really look as ashy as i look in camera right now I, I don't know and i watched the foundation test video it wasn't as ashy I, it wasn't ashy at all i mean i did notice i looked a little bit ashy but it wasn't as ashy as it looked when i was applying it earlier i don't know what i'm trying to say it's just i'm just still gobsmacked i'm literally gobsmacked gobsmacked literally i don't know but anyway um and also i noticed on the bottle that it only has a, it has a six month shelf life and i got this in july and i opened this the day i got it so august september october november december january so it expired last month two months ago two months ago it expired because we're in march now today is i don't know where my watch is i started this video with a watch and I'm finishing without a watch. Oh my gosh, I've got a rash there. What the heck? Anyway, yeah. So I guess I just applied an expired product on my face. And I thought things usually have a 12 month shelf life. Like literally. I okay. What do you guys think about this video? Did I make you rethink your makeup stash? And you know, did I motivate you to go and check your makeup stash to see what you have been neglecting and what you need to throw out or give away? I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It's a lot of money to throw away. And I, this is my third time also using it. I'm so pissed. Okay, anyway, the main product that surprised me in today's video is the, uh, actually two products, the Benefit Cabral Brow Gel, like, looks so good, literally, and the Shape Tape. The brand is cancelled, but I'm, I'm gonna finish this, you know, it's my money. I, mm -mm. I'm not one of those people who just stops using a product because a brand has really pissed us off, which they pissed me off, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna finish it. I might not show it in videos anymore, but I'm gonna finish it because I worked for it. And I also have two more foundations from them. I'm either gonna finish it or give it away because I worked for it. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Oh. Everything is your shambles. This video is cancelled already. This video is in shambles. Everything about this video is in shambles. Yeah, so thumbs it up. The next video is going to be shorter, I promise. Thank you so much for watching, as mentioned earlier. As always, whatever you're doing to love yourself. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye-bye.